in the end, uh, I actually messed up a little bit, but uh, Bini still did a strong sprint, was third. like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up. What's up, people? How you doing? Let me make myself a little bit bigger so that you can see me better. Let's get rid of that one and get back to that one. That's fine. We'll leave the small logo up there. But right now, we're going to get into the tour down under the season. Has it feels like it has officially started. We got uh, some uh, big names down there and some not so big names down there. We got our like Canal Evans. We got the sprinter. Uh, the Sam is it Sam uh, Cassell? Or <clears throat> I gotta check that. I got his name up this summer. Sam, uh, who write who now writes? Who used to write for DSM? Now he writes for Bora Hansgrove and uh, Phil Bauhaus, and then my man Biniam Gourmet. So this is what we're all about today. We're talking about Biniam Gourmet. We're just gonna cycle through some of these pitches really quickly just to see what's going on so this is the start this is the procession this is where they uh the neutral zone they write neutral for about a kilometer or two before they actually get things started so this is the start of the race so let me just get myself out of the way and uh give you for you to oh i put you right back didn't i there you go that's what i want there i am nice and small up on top of the screen out of the way so we can see all of the riders so all the way to the right in 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 those uh, grenadiers, Kit is a uh, you know he's all blurred, but that's Felipe Ghana, and I can't quite make out who the other riders are because they are too blurred. And uh, if I knew the riders really well, I'd be able to make out who, no matter who they were. So this is the start of the race, and then we got my man Nat 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 who's now riding for Track Little, and uh, we'll see what he gets up to this year. Hopefully. He can have a bit more success, so he's moved to a bigger team from the team he was on previously. And uh, this is an interesting thing that's going on, if you didn't know about it. All of the, like, you know, they were turning the handlebars in some sort of awful and, like, turning them to, like, to make the bikes a bit more arrow or whatnot. So, but, you know, the UCI has deemed that unsafe, and uh, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked. I just thought it looked awful so i'm just glad they put it back and so let's get into the last two kilometers so for the most part the race was pretty uneventful um they had a breakaway that got away that world up got about three minutes and the guys in the breakaway oh, one of the guys in the breakaway also from uh is it from archaic samsic well i was like archaic archaic uh b and b hotels now so he, he took the kom because it was a kom and they had to loop and he took that, so the breakaway got to three minutes in, but they brought it back, they reeled it in like they normally do. But here we see uh, Caleb Ewan is in a pretty good position. And you guys, on the right of me, you see the Bora Hansgrove, and uh, next to the Bora Hansgrove, you see uh, Inter Marche Wonte. Then uh, uh, they dropped the circus, so circus is no longer a sponsor, so Inter Marche Wonte. And obviously, they're tr trying to look out for BNM Gourmet. And right about here it, it's starting to you know get pretty dicey like it normally does and it's gonna see see what happens here so caleb ewan as well just the his home race like the big criterion that he normally does because he won it last year which was the uh whose is whose is it whose is it mm. Mm. can't remember his name but anyways the criterion they had the week before I just put it up on the screen and he didn't do that because he had a little stomach issue. So he came into this one feeling a bit better. And uh, he said that he has to get his legs uh, getting them going. So that's that. So here we are. Let's um, see if I can. Uh, like, like I'm here to focus on Benny. So right now. Where's my man Benny? Benny is like right about here at this at this particular moment. He's not in the. I guess he's in an okay position. He's sheltered. We've still got one kilometer to go, so you don't really want to be too close to the front because you end up having to, like, you know, waste a lot of energy and guys just come around you. So Benny's right about there, right about now. So then we move to the next, and here we see Benny. 
this is less than a kilometer to go. Um, as as far as I'm concerned, this is just too too. Uh, it's too far back because here's Benny, here's Phil Barhouse, here's Caleb Ewan, and here's Sam. Okay, so these, so in 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 in, in a sense, Benny should be right here. Okay, and we're gonna see why, like Benny should be right here. If he was right here, Benny would have run won the race. So, but Benny is here at the minute, which is just way too far back. So let's go to the next clip and just see where Benny ends up. So surprisingly enough, you'll see if you if you watch the video. So now now Benny is you can see the position he he's he sort of moved up one because he was the seventh or eighth guy. Let's go back to the other picture. He was he was back. At this one. So here we go. So like look at it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So essentially, he's in he's he's in ninth position. So with within a, a couple hundred meters, he's moved up and he's now the sixth wheel. But he still has somebody in front of him that, that shouldn't be in front of him because this guy, this guy that's in front of Benny, he is I don't know who he is, but he just uh, he doesn't belong here. He doesn't have the speed. So I wish I could show you the video so you can see how he just dies. And when he dies, he leaves a gap for Benny to have to close to get to get to my house. So now, now we're trying to find where's Benny. So right now, Benny is is here. So there's a bit of a a gap because there's was the guy that the guy that was on his wheel. Where is he? He's nowhere to be found now. He had to pull out, so Benny had to make that extra effort to get around. So now he's like on the wheel of a bar house and uh Kedal Evans. And on over this side you got cause uh Sam's sprint, I mean uh leader guy just pulling off and then Sam's, you know, you know, getting ready to take care of business. So here is where and then also we had like a a, a pretty honest uh, assessment of one of Benny's teammates and stuff. So we're gonna play that for you as well too. And here we are. Benny is still He's like, he's still tucked in right there. He's still tucked in, still tucked in. And Sam is like, you know, full gas on. So we got Benny, we got Bauhaus in front of Benny, and then we got Cadell Heavens here. I'm not quite sure. I think this is this is Sam Cassell here. I'm not quite sure if this is Sam Cassell or this is Sam Cassell, but we'll see in a second. And you can see uh, Sam's leader guy just putting his head down like he's done his, he's done his job and he's, he's uh, done so. But this is... So Benny, this is Benny's helmet here, but this here, right here, if you if you see this, this uh other helmet, that's that's the young kid that um we're gonna show you. His name is, how do you pronounce his name? Marcus. That's his name is Mads Mads Mikos Mads Mikos, and and Mikos is gonna explain probably the reason Benny didn't win today's stage. So now Benny has come from behind Bauhaus and behind. So he's come from behind Bauhaus. He's come from behind Evan. And now he's, he's you know, he's got a clear shot at the at the run at the line. But he just waited a bit too late. And right here you see Sam. He's he's now at the front. And he's, like, he's 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 had a good lead out. And all, all he can do is sprint hard. And, and uh, here is a... Um, um, his name is Mads. So here's Mads here. And like, like basically, just to make a long story short, Mads is going to explain as to how like he he messed up the lead off for Benny. And like, had he done the, the lead off properly, Benny probably would have won the race. So here is um, Sam winning the race, coming across the line first. And Bauhaus is in second place. And there's Benny in third, and then comes Cadell Evans, just getting edged out by Benny. But when Benny went from, let's see, when Benny went from from this spot here, yeah, when Benny went from that spot there to there, let's see, yeah, from there, when Benny went from there to there, he closed the gap, and he closed, he was this moving 
so much faster than them. So had he had the proper lead out, like like he like the you know the team had been working on, he probably would have more than like he definitely was the fastest guy in that finish. His speed was just you just you'll see in a minute. So but here is Sam winning the race. Benny's got his head down, obviously a little disappointed. Uh Cadell Evans is not even in it and then Phil Bajos, like he almost, you know, got Bill Phil Bajos for for a second. So why that's important, you know, even though he didn't win the race, is that that he still gets um points for the green jersey. So they they're going to be going after those green jersey points. And so here's a better like a side on view, so you can actually see. There's my man Benny, and how close. So Benny basically he he came like from around here, around Cadell Evans. Because he had a really good draft. He had a double draft because he came off of Bajos' wheel. And he sort of went the long way around. And, uh, yeah, so he came, he came pretty close. It's unfortunate that he didn't win today's stage. And that's your winner. And this is Mads, Mad Mikkel. So, um... This is last. Oh, and this is this is uh you know to give you a nicer picture of the winner. Do I have it? Oh, that's just Mads. Sorry. So let's just gonna go really quickly. I just want to go really quickly to a clip. So let's go to this clip. Let's let's play this clip. So you can see this. This is so you can see. Make me a little smaller. Let's say you can see Benny and how how look, the speed that he's coming around. So that that's all I'm going to show because I'm not trying to get any copyright strikes. So and that's the finish. And literally he made up so much ground. But uh, you know, hopefully, you know, the next stage will be a little bit better for him. And let's go to the. Let's go to let's go to Mads real quick and see what Mads has to say. And then also. So let's play Mads. In the end, uh, I actually messed up a little bit, but uh, Bini still did a strong sprint, was third. So when he says he messed up a little bit, basically, he was it's, it's his job because Mads is also a sprinter as well, but he's a lot younger, so he's got time to mature. mature. So while he's working on his sprint over the next couple of years, he will fine-tune that by, you know, gearing it up and, you know, ramping it up and uh, just getting stronger and stronger on the front until it's, it's his turn to you know, take over what Benny's doing. So, like, that's how it goes. You you work as number one lead out man. Uh, you know, you know, nothing like getting a a lead out sprint off of a sprinter. So that's that's where Mads comes in. And he said, like, you know, I guess as they were coming into the finish, he he must have like you know lost contact with Benny somehow. And he, he like he said he messed it up. But the the other thing is, it it it, it almost like the into my shade like heard me complaining and pretty sure quite a few people said it it's, they have a strong team but they're just like they're not executing so hopefully this year will be a whole lot different and if it's a whole lot different we're gonna see some amazing uh uh, uh performances from the intermarche wanted wanted team and then the reporter went on to ask him like you know do you think you're going to win any stages and what's your main objectives and he this is his answer his answer was like plain and simple ambition to win a stage with Binium. so in the end, uh, I actually messed up a little bit, but uh, Bini still did a strong sprint, was third. So. Ambition to win a stage with Biniam. So that's Matt. And the crazy thing was the, they did an interview with him. He finished in the top 10. No interview with Bini. There was like, you know, and, and that was annoying me as a little bit as well. So they talked to the winner. They talked to the guy in third place. They talked to his teammate. <laughs> you know, but they didn't talk to Benny. So hopefully they did do a, like an interview pre-race. Pre 
But I, I don't like the fact that, you know, the man worked hard to finish in second place. You know, let his fans see what's going on. So, you know, two, two Eurosport and all of that, that really sucks that you didn't give the man his, his, uh, his two seconds, uh, his two seconds of, um, you know, he worked hard for it. So, and then I love the fact that Mads comes up to say when the reporter is asking him what's his ambitions and Mads basically say, my ambition is to make sure that Benny wins the stage. So with that, I'm going to be out. Thank you for joining me. And, uh, we're going to try to tap in and bring you stage two tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed that. It is Luby State with your legs. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If I didn't say before, remember the all of the all the gear, the, the printing is done by Supercolor. Check them out. And the last business card you ever need to buy is Vice Cards. And if you want more information about that, link is in the bio. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.